obvious decision. song from a new album it's called uh, Break the Glass and Stomp on the uh, it's called uh, The Loner I just, you know what I used to do before I did this? <laughs> before I ever did this, you know what I did? I worked in a bookstore for two weeks. I'm not kidding. No, I'll, nothing I say up here is a lie. I never ever have told a lie on stage. Or, or boy, I really said a mouthful. That's, not, That's true. I worked for two weeks at Cole's Bookstore in Toronto. I was fired. And, uh, I'll tell you what happened to me. Now listen, everybody here is okay, right? There's no cops in here, right? And all of you know about, all of you know about, you know, what, pills, right? Everybody here knows what a pill is, right? <laughs> I, and if you're familiar with pills, you know, you can either go or you can go, or you can go, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, now, you know, about, I shouldn't say this kind of thing in public, admit to it, but actually, about four years ago when I was working at this bookstore, I used to be uh, really uptight about working in the bookstore, because I used to have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning and walk to work, and it was in the winter time, and I used to, all I did was carry the guy with the truck, he'd come and he'd come down this ramp. And I go, <laughs> I'm dropping them all and everybody's yelling at me. And then I had to take them out of the cartons and mark down what they were and lick stamps and put them on each one, 79 cents for this one, and then carry them out and put them on the shelf. That's what I did, right? So you can imagine that I didn't get behind it, you know, <laughs> too well on the natch. So what happened to me was, I got fired for irregularity. Beca <laughs> because I, I couldn't be depended on to be really, you know, I couldn't be depended on to be consistent. Because every once in a while, this girl that I knew in Yorkville Village in Toronto would lay one of these little red pills on me. Now don't tell anybody about this. Okay. They were, she said they were diet pills. But they were really great diet pills. <laughs> I didn't eat anything all day. Didn't even break for lunch, man. I was piling those books, just getting right into it, piling them up and, you know, stamping them, run out. It was great. But the next day I'd come to work. <laughs> right? <laughs> Couldn't move a book. Didn't even want to see a book. And books made me, you know, I never want to see another book. And then three days later, I'd be there, <laughs> catching up and getting three days ahead. And he finally fired me. <laughs> I just had an obvious decision.